birthday cards for little ones using some older stamp sets from Whimsy Stamps and My Favorite Things and others. Coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. In today's video, I am making some children's cards for little children, and I am primarily going to be using this Linking Train stamp set from Whimsy Stamps. Uh, I don't have any dies, and uh, so I'll be fussy cutting it. And I will be using some of the characters from the um, some of my my favorite things. Um, stamp sets and a Sugar Pea Designs also and then I'll be using the abstract scratch background from Trinity Stamps so I'll go ahead and stamp these out and I'll be right back so for the train and the train cars I'm using my Copic sketch markers, and these are the colors that I'm using. You can use any colors you want, obviously. Um, so I'll continue uh, coloring these off screen and be right back. So for the monkeys and uh, the railroad tracks, this is what I used as far as the Copic colors go. I ran out of room on my card for the whole train, so what I ended up doing was cutting off this section that was too big and putting the third card there, which I'll put on the inside of the card. Um, something like, like that, and then I'll put the happy birthday sentiment there. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and finish gluing these in place off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything glued down and I went ahead and stamped it with the sentiments and it's hip hip hooray, it's a special day. Happy birthday. Now the only thing I need to do is put a number three on the balloon because this is intended for a family member who will be turning three. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that and I'll be right back. Okay, well as it turned out, I didn't have a number die that small, so I had to stamp it and um, then I heat embossed it. I don't think you can tell. Uh, anyway, I did. So luckily I was able to take my little monkey out off the card, out of the carriage and off the card. So that's the first card, and uh, I'll show you what's gonna be the second card in just a moment. So for this next card, I decided to emboss the background instead of stamping it, and I looked at two different embossing folders. I tried the Swiss Dot, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, and it's got ink on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of busy. So I opted to go with the Stargazer uh, embossing folder from Spellbinders. And I used the Simon Says Positively Saturated Ink in the Sea Foam. And I think it came out really nice. I just lightly grazed the pad over it. Uh, just to highlight the stars. So, and it's nearly edge to edge with just a little bit of space around it. So I'm basically gonna do the same thing um, in terms of layout, but I thought I might kick it up a bit and do a border around it instead of railroad tracks. So, um, I'll see what I come up with and be right back. On the second card, I wanted to uh, just dress it up a little bit differently. I mean, it's the same characters and basically the same color scheme. But um, like I said before, I used a star embossed background with some sea foam ink and I copied the format 
from the first one. But um, I like having the streamers on there and having the train a bit wonky. So anyway, those are the two birthday cards. And these are intended for two, three-year-olds in my family. So <laughs> um, next week I will also be doing children's cards, but for a little bit older kids. So I hope you like this video. And if you have, please leave us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.